Hi everyone, Uncle Naki here again. Uh, this is uh, part two of a uh, box of stamps I decided to open up uh, from just a, just a monstrous uh, accumulation of over the years. And you know, I got up to about an hour or so on the first video, uh, and we probably only got through maybe uh, you know half of the box. And then I had such a, a pile all over the table, so I ended up, you know, putting everything from the, uh, you know, from the first video, basically in this box here, uh, you know, and just, you know, try to make some sense of it at a later time. Um, you know, now that I'm kind of going through this first box, I'm, you know, I'm already a little overwhelmed of, you know, how much work I've got ahead of me. And then, you know, we'll go through... Uh, yeah, you know, in today's video, we'll go through the rest of this box and see, you know, what other, uh, what other, what other stamps we find. If you know, see if there's any more, uh, you know, rare stamps. You know, we've came across quite a few in the first batch, and uh, we'll see how this, you know, you know, if we kind of continue with that same sort of, uh, uh, you know, pattern. And uh, let's see if I get the camera a little more. Uh, a little more straight here. All right, and we'll just uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start just grabbing you know piles out of the box, and uh, you know we'll go through it and see what we find. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen the other video, yeah, I suggest watching that one first. You know, this is probably you know just because it. You know, we kind of left off, you know, kind of in this area of airmail stamps. And this is just, just, just more uh, of these airmails, which we had, you know, massive amounts in the first video. You know, and it looks like there's, you know, 200 or so, you know, in each of these. And then we have some, looks like 17 cent stamps. Uh, looks like Scott number 822 So, you know, nothing real real rare there, but you know, just Just quantities, you know, here's some more of the two dollar uh, Lantern stamps um, Some more stamps from that Particular series some 28 cent some 30 cent so again not not Technically rare, but you'd obviously need these stamps if you were, um, say, put together a, um, you know, a set of these or so, because these are, they tend to be a little bit more difficult than, you know, many of the, of the other ones. Uh, this here, it's just a 24 cent airmail. Um, like I said, in the first video, we came, came across a, you know, a monstrous pile of these also. And, you know, this is just just one more that's just, uh, you know, got to get sorted. Uh, these are 13 cent stamps uh, with the Indian head penny or also known as currently the Native American penny. Uh, these were stamps that were just a, a very small size that there weren't too many, you know, stamps at this time of this particular size. Uh, towards uh, a few later, a few years later, they came out with a, you know, some booklet stamps that were similar in size to that. Uh, some more of those uh, stamps from that from that one series, and we got some some older stamps here exactly what it's probably looks like just a mix I'm not really sure like I said there's just you know if you if you watch the first video you, you definitely understand what I'm talking about when I say you know just massive amounts of, of stamps uh, this was always a, a favorite stamp of mine growing up you know it was a uh, you know baseball related and I, you know I collected baseball cards so this was always a uh, you know, fun stamp to to collect. There's a whole you know packet of them. 
uh, 15 cent stamps. You know, again, these are like you know, just a smaller stamp. Uh, not not as common as some of the other ones. There we go. We go getting back into the old stuff again. Uh, some of the commemorative stamps. And like I said, you know, this is what like the first video was all about. We were just finding, you know, this was this isn't even really a lot compared to the stuff we were finding in the first video, but still a pretty good quantity. Um, some more odds and ends. You know, this is, you know, a pretty decent, you know, quantity of stamps. This is kind of like what we were, you know, finding of just very rare high denomination stamps. Just, just one envelope after another after another. Um, these are some of the newer high denomination stamps. These are like the, the $5 stamps. And then we go down to... Some nine cent stamps from the 1930s, and then you know back to something a little more current, high denomination stamp. So like I said, it's all it's all over the place. There's no no particular order. You know, some stuff is somewhat in some sort of order, but uh, you know, for what I have, you know, all the other stuff I have and everything. It's still gonna be a you know a major task to you know make sense of of everything here. Um, I'm not really sure what this extra bonus stuff is all about. It's just uh, you know just lots and lots of stamps and commemoratives and you know that first batch we went through is it was. It was pretty interesting because there was a lot of old stuff there a lot of stuff from the you know civil war era and what are these these are all just stacks of uh, souvenir sheets looks like there's another one in here so I don't know how many's in here I don't know if there's maybe 50 per envelope, I have no idea, they look like they're all brand new, you know, uncancelled. I guess I just, just crazy amounts, eh, this isn't, like I said, nothing too, too impressive in, so far, this is the uh, football stamp that was similar to the baseball stamp. Uh, that you know came out around the same time period. Uh, this was a stamp that came out uh, for a stamp expo. And we got an envelope of a bunch of five cent blue. Uh, you know these were from like the 1890s. Coil pairs. Looks like the six cent coil pairs, just, you know, just a large quantity of them. I don't even, don't know how many. And another envelope, looks like the same thing. Coil pairs. These look like the uh, same thing, but maybe coil singles. More coil pairs. So, yeah, and, you know, there's more and more. It just, you know, quantities of, of, of certain stamps is just just crazy. And this looks like the presidential series. Uh, U.S. Olympics, one particular year. They came out with some stamps. Uh, Jackie Robinson uh, stamps. These are fairly collectible just because of, you know, baseball related. Uh, I got some more of the football stamps. Just maybe a large packets of them. Another baseball. A packet of the 
two dollar lantern stamps again you know I don't even know maybe we've come across maybe a thousand plus of these already I have no idea I've got nearly a thousand of these boxes just I just gotta get through them sort through them uh, figure out exactly what I've got because I'm trying to get these things a little more organized and uh, you know be able to list them you know some of these stamps for sale uh, but you know in order for me to do that I have to I have to first know what I actually have because it's just uh, like I said you know each box is just kind of like a mystery to me because I've been you know, collecting stamps for over 40 years, and, you know, I don't remember, you know, I don't remember collections that I bought, or, you know, groupings of stamps that I may have bought at shows, uh, you know, here's some more of those $2 ones, it's just, uh, you know, here's uh, 50 cent versions of them, here's a, Large envelope of dollar stamps, some more 50 cent. These are what, one and a quarter cents. 18 cent coral stamps, more Olympic. Uh, basketball centennial stamps. So, yeah, you know, I, like I said, I just don't know honestly what you know what I've got and what I don't have but I'd like to get all this stuff in order and somewhat presentable so I can decide how I'm gonna go about you know selling these uh, these stamps if they're gonna be you know sold as you know individual stamps or you know maybe I'll be putting you know sets of them together or you know, large enough quantities of sets where, you know, you have a, a, a certain quantity of different stamps, uh, you know, like a percentage of a complete set, maybe. There's more of the $2 stamps. Like I said, it's just, you know, Roberto Clemente stamps. These are very popular, you know, with the baseball card collectors. And then we have some airmail stamps, 20 cent, you know, I was pulling out envelopes that probably had between 500 and 1,000 of these, you know, and they, all different denominations, even the, the orange 50 cent ones were in there. And let's see what else we've got. And more $2 lanterns, you know. Who knows how many of those are going to, you know, what is this? These are all $5 stamps. We had a whole bunch of these in the last video of just, you know, and you can see the quantity that's in there. It's just, the stamps are just stacked, you know, just solid. And, you know, these are considered to be, you know, just finding one of these stamps in a stamp collection nowadays is uncommon you know this, these were the you know th this was the hard to get stamp you know um, there's some more high denomination stamps let's flip these around maybe make it easier and then it's a five dollar lantern some more of the air mails this is the 15 cent uh, these are six cent stamps that were part of a booklet uh, these are a little more difficult to come by because uh, in the booklet there was only like I think one one of these stamps uh, you know compared to like the other 19 or so or or there were two of these stamps uh, compared to the other 18 stamps so just a, a ratio of rarity you know these are much more difficult to come across. I got a stack of them in here. You know, maybe there's a hundred or so in there. I'm not sure. And some of the 80 cent 
stamps, a whole bunch more of these, which we found that, you know, that massive envelope of these. And here's, you know, like I said, here's more of them. Uh, some more of the $5 lanterns. Uh, this looks like it could be a set of the birds and flowers stamps. These, I believe, came out in 1982. And just another high denomination stamp. Let's see what else we got. This is just a, I don't even know, a packet of some sort. I don't know if they're all baseball or what. what's actually in here. Let's see. No, they're different. So you got baseball. You got Joe, Joe Lewis, Lou Gehrig stamps, Clemente stamps. And some state park stamps. And some more of those six cent stamps from the booklets, and uh, some more airmail stamps. And yeah, it's just uh, like I said. Uh, you know, I was, uh, there were certain points in, you know, in my collecting uh, time period that I just, you know, I totally lost track of what I was buying and what I had and uh, what I didn't have. And, you know, you know, I'm having that same issue even with the baseball cards, you know, where I'm opening up boxes of cards and not, not even remembering, you know, buying some of this stuff, you know, in my mind, I never had it, and then I open up a box, and, you know, I've got a, you know, a box of, like, you know, Wade Boggs rookie cards, or, you know, something, you know, crazy like that, and this is, like, the same, same idea, like, the Lou Gehrig stamps, you know, I don't know how many of these, you know, packets we've, we've come across, but, uh, you know, you know, before opening up this box, if you asked me how many of these I had, I would have said, I don't know, maybe, you know, 10 or 15, and, you know, this right here looks like there's probably maybe 300, and, and I know there's more of them in the, that we've come across. Uh, there's a, another baseball-related stamp. This was another baseball related, I believe. Uh, some more Jackie Robinson. So yeah, it's just yeah, I gotta make I gotta make some sense of all this. It's just uh, like I said, just a a lot of stamps. But definitely check out that first video. Um, you, you know, you you'll see a lot of the nice old stuff, similar to this. You know, this is some airmail stamps but you know there were envelopes just packed with these particular stamps and there's another stamp yeah there's actually a few in there I don't know if they're all the same there's five dollar Hamiltons we came across a whole bunch of those $5 postage dues. And then again, like I said, I can't, I can barely make out what's in some of these. These are some $2 stamps. $5. Some more Hamiltons. $5 presidentials. These are the $5 stamps from, I believe it was like a 1923. Time period, five dollar lanterns, more five dollar, uh, whole bunch of the two dollar capital stamps, and you know, we found that envelope. There must have been probably what a thousand of them in there, and you know, these are like I said, these are the more. I don't want to call it difficult because you know, if I got like a thousand of these stamps, it's hard for me to say that it's a difficult stamp to have. But a majority of the collections that you you find out there, you, you know, will be missing this particular stamp, and that's just uh, you know kind of the reality of it. 
these are uh, a newer issue of kind of like a remake of, of some stamps so these here you know even though we came across a bunch of the originals these are uh, like a newer series of them and then we've got some more of the airmail stamps from 19, I believe it was a 1918. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, it'll be nice once they're all out of these envelopes. I'll be able to see what, what you know, what I'm dealing with. It's more presidential. This is just all just random, you know, 1920s. You know where they were they had uh you know these are the washington washington franklin type stamps they came in so many different you know watermarks and perforations and uh some were you know coils you know going in one direction some were coils in another direction uh here's some more of those six cent coil pairs Five dollar stamps, more ear mails. Yeah, it's just uh, you know this is similar to the first box, but the first box was like just just one envelope after another, but it was all the real old old stuff. Here's some more of the eighty cent ear mails. There's a just one big envelope of you know all the the old air mails. You know, just uh, kind of crazy. Here's a, just a big envelope of the 50 cent uh, air mails. Here's the 30 cent. And, you know, like I said, we had saw just envelopes just, just jam packed, you know, with these stamps. And as I had mentioned in the other video, there's, you know, there's dealers that just sell. You know the set of stamps, just one of each, and I, you know, I probably have maybe a, a thousand sets. You know, I, I have no idea until I, you know, I start, you know, getting through all these. Here's some more. It's the ten cent, thirty cent, uh, more, more quail, more of the quail uh, pairs of the six cents. Just kind of falling all over the place. Uh, two cent Hamiltons. There's a, another envelope with a two dollar, two dollar green. You know, like I said, it's a decent quantity, but you know, compared to that other grouping, you know, plus we found a whole bunch of these even before that massive envelope of them. And some more five dollar Hamiltons. Just a just a big packet of them. And then a single one, you know. So like I said, it's all uh, stuff is all over the place. It, not, you know, some stuff's in order, but it's like, you know, why why have a just one by itself and not, you know, with say this particular grouping? But then I also have, you know, ten or fifteen, maybe even twenty packets of of stamps of of this type. So. Yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, I think I may have overbought at one point. Uh, these are stamps that are, uh, they have a, a pre-cancel on them. And uh, so this is a Fruitport, Michigan pre-cancel. Looks like it's a possibly a complete set. That's very interesting. Um, these here are the newer uh, release of the two dollar stamps. You know, I, we had a bunch of these of the original ones also in the first video. And some more baseball related, some more airmail, airmails. Just uh, like I said, it's just uh, out of control.
Um, we came across a whole bunch of these in the first video. These are like the uh, like registered mail. It's a 24 cent airmail stamp with a pre-cancel. Looks like Philadelphia. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some more pre-cancels. Looks like a Michigan uh, assortment. Statue of Liberty stamps, the eight cent ones. Uh, these came in different uh, denominations. There was a three cent purple. There was the eight cent that came in two different varieties, and then there was an eleven cent uh, that was more of a reddish color. And the eight cent and the and the eleven cent reddish were, you know, the more difficult. Let's see what we got here. Uh, three cent Washington's 720. So these are those uh, purple, fairly common, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to try to get those out just yet. Um, we got some more. Uh, these are the Jamestown. Uh, commemoratives. It's a special delivery, ten cent. Uh, like I said in the last video, there's I think there's about thirty different special delivery stamps. This one being one of the more popular of the of the subset collection. like a group of the I forget what they call them but it's uh, definitely like different types of transportation these I believe are from 18 was 1898 or 1901 and this particular set they had some of these stamps uh, where the the centers of them were inverted so they were upside down similar to like the upside down airplane stamp that everybody's Pretty well aware of. So it looks like I got there's a couple of those sets. Plus we found we saw a bunch of them too. Uh, there's another special delivery. So E2. I don't know if E2. If that meant that was the second. That might have been the second stamp. I don't. Maybe not. Because I don't think that's the third stamp. But but then again, it might be. I. It's been a while since I've uh, really studied the uh, stamp catalogs. I've been more focused on baseball cards lately. But I know this one because of the color, did not, you know, the, the color difference. You know, this particular stamp is, you know, pretty popular. And another high denomination stamp. I believe this is like 1980s. Uh, area. It's another 10 cent with the color difference. Uh, these are some Christmas stamps that have a pre cancel on them. Other than that, nothing spectacular about that. And same thing with these some common pre cancel stamps that don't really fit in the particular grouping here. It's a older airmail but fairly fairly common. This is a souvenir sheet. As you can see it's got the original gum on it, unused. There's a interesting stamp. Uh, this is probably, you know, out of the normal airmail stamps, this is uh, probably the most difficult of the uh, airmail stamps. This is the, you know, Zeppelin stamp, $2.60. Uh, this is, uh, you know, one of three stamps in the, in the particular series. They also made another one a few years later in 1933, which we... I, you know, we probably found, what, 50 of those in the first uh, video. So, um, 
yeah, I, I kind of wondered if we were going to come across any of these, but yeah, this is uh, this is a, one of the higher dollar uh, stamps. So overall, decent shape, you know. I I don't even you know know what really what the current value is on this particular stamp. I know at one point they were. You know, I know like when I was buying stamps through like the Mystic Stamp Company, I think this stamp here was at the time I think they were selling for eight hundred dollars used and fifteen hundred dollars unused. I think it was somewhere around there, something crazy. Uh, we got more of the fifty cent stamps. Some of the older presidential definitive stamps. It's just a packet of stamps. I'm not really sure. It says free on it, but I I don't know if that meant that they were free or if it was just you know the envelope was being used from something else. There's another just another mix of higher denomination stamps. And my pile of stamps is about to fall over again. And I'm not really sure what these are. These are the, look like they're the, the Franklin Washington series stamps. Just different random ones. I'm not really sure which ones they are. You know, they all these all have to be like individually uh looked at closely and perforations measured and you know there's a, a perforation gauge that you can use to measure those and it's based on I believe how many perforations there are in a like a two centimeter area and uh, and then you gotta check for watermarks and uh, some of them you have to actually measure the the, the design of the stamp to see if uh, to determine if it was like printed on a flat pl uh, plate uh, press or a rotary press, you know, there were so many different uh, kinds. And you know, it, some of the stamps of the you know of that time period are so difficult to um, identify. You know, so you could have two stamps side by side that look identical, and you know, one's worth you know 20 cents and one's worth twenty dollars so is this another looks like another grouping of maybe uh, pre-cancel stamps not really sure you know, piles falling over again and some more odds and ends what we got here there's the stack of five dollar green which we came across a whole bunch of these in the last video. You know, this is just a s small number of what we actually probably came across. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'll we'll, we'll put that at the bottom of the pile. We'll look at that last. Uh, these aren't really, uh, you know, don't really have any big value, but. It's just, uh, you know, some higher denomination stamps of a particular uh, series of stamps. And obviously, you know, if you're putting sets together, you're going to need, you know, one of each of these. And, you know, here's, uh, you know, the higher denominations, which are a little bit more difficult. You know, the $2, which we saw tons of, and we also saw a ton of these $5 lantern stamps. Um, there's, uh, some more five dollar, some, a little more, uh, recent stamps, and they're attached to a postcard for some reason, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm not gonna try to figure it out, but, uh, these are, um, stock transfer stamps. Looks like there's a whole bunch of different kinds, some higher denomination ones in there. And then we've 
got a souvenir sheet from the 89 Stamp Expo. I don't know. I don't remember if we came across any of the originals of these. I know we came across a ton of the originals of some of the other denominations, but I don't remember if we came across one of these 90 cent ones. I know we came across the older 90 cent stamps with uh, the Washington ones. I think there were two different designs. But I don't remember if we came across any of those. There were so many of them. Yeah. Some more of the airmail stamps. Some more. These are the, the 1933 Zeppelin stamps. Uh, not worth as much as the other one that that we came across but you know in the first video we you know there was just a a ton of these uh you know in that box and well this is the same box but this is just the second part of the video there's just so much stuff in the box that uh you know the first video was up to an hour so so this was a block of four uh, another block of four. These are some of the older airmails. Not as high of any, you know, the value wise, not, you know, nowhere near the, the Zeppelin stamps. But still, you know, a very important part of the, the whole airmail collection of stamps. So. You know, you have to have, you know, at least, you know, one of each of these also. There's some more of the 1933 Zeppelin stamps. These look to be all unused, which we came across a whole bunch of unused ones and used ones in the, in the last video. Uh, this is, looks like it's just an envelope. So these are, you know, stamps that were printed, you know, on envelopes, and then you would you would purchase the envelope with the pre-printed stamp uh, on them from the post office uh, for, you know, slightly higher amount than the face value because you were buying the envelope. And uh, a lot of collectors would actually, you know, get these types of envelopes later on, and they would just cut the just the stamp portion out now you know collectors realize you're, you're better off collecting the whole envelope and not just cutting out a section and the only time you'd want to maybe cut a section out is if the the rest of the envelope is just totally destroyed but you know here's a whole uh, envelope of I don't even know which ones these are and then this set, uh, let's see, original, vintage, something, I don't even know. Okay, so, looks like it's just a, just an old receipt. store was buying some uh, tobacco products and this happens to be the receipt and it's dated uh, May 28th 1909 so that's pretty interesting because uh, you know 1909 was the first year of the T206 cards but I don't see uh, any brands in here that are uh, T206 related but it's at this around that same time period, which is kind of uh, kind of interesting. You know, I don't know why this is, you know, kind of mixed in the bunch, but it's not completely stamp related. But but we'll keep it in there. Let's see what else is in this box. We're getting towards the bottom, so we got some. More of these airmails. We got uh, Thomas Edison stamps from like the 1920s or 1930s. Uh, 
Now these were just a, an odd denomination at the time. These were 11 cent stamps. So these were a little bit more difficult to come by. You normally wouldn't find in a you know a beginner uh, stamp uh, collection. And this is looks to be one of the uh, the remakes of the Colombian stamps when the U.S. Post Office you know came out with a. A group of them to kind of commemorate the I think it was just like the anniversary of the stamps so that would have been in 1992 1993 ish uh, time period I'm guessing that's when when these came out let's see what else is left in there and yeah, we still got quite a bit uh, One cent, one cent perforated stamp. Uh, this is the postcard through Port Michigan, old fashioned days. So, festival, festival station. more airmail stamps nothing real real fancy and we've got a whole bunch of the 50 cent 50 cent Washington's we got the one dollar Washington a whole packet of some of the newer two dollar stamps Got more, more of the common airmail. Uh, what are these? These look like they're a bunch of the five dollar stamps. Maybe some of the two dollar stamps. There's just so many of these, you know, in, in the first part of the collection. There's some more of the eight cent. Statue of Liberty stamps, some two cent stamps, uh, this is a souvenir sheet, I can't tell if it's got the original gum on it or not, it, feel, it, it doesn't look like it on the camera but it feels like it and looks like it off camera. Put that in something. It's just, it's not even in anything. Uh, what's this? Thirteen cent, possibly unused. And we got the circus stamp in here. It's like I said, we're all over the place with just, you know. We got stamps from the Civil War, and then we're, you know, celebrating the sort of circus in nineteen or er, in twenty fourteen. So some of these uh, circus stamps are pricey. It all depends on how they're cut and if they're like die cut or not. I'm not really sure exactly how you tell or which one is which. You know, I can see that these are you know, die cut on the outside, but I don't know if some are supposed to be die cut on the inside also. I'm not 100% sure. Um, what's this? Uh, what's the envelope? No, I'm losing my pile of stamps again. Uh, these are, it looks like six cent flower stamps. Just a whole bunch of them. It's the big assortment of them. So yeah, those must be the Sky Catalog numbers, and maybe these are the quantities that are in here. No idea. And let's see what else we got. Uh, we got some more airmail stamps. 
Looks like they're just singles in this particular one. Nothing, nothing really fancy. You know, we came across, you know, envelopes of those and uh, same thing here. Not, not. I don't know. I don't know what's actually in here. gonna try to take them out right now but you know we found the uh, you know hundreds of these also uh, there's a 24 cent with a pre-cancel on it uh, some more of the 50 cent stamps we saw a bunch of those bunch of these so nothing nothing real real spectacular it's just they all have to be you know sorted and and you know basically I want to put them all in these types of pages but this is like you know obviously a cut page or half a page but that's you know similar to how I want to you know have all these stamps uh, kept you know I want them all to be in their own pages so uh, you know each stamp has its own page and then if a, a front and back side of the page is filled up you know I can easily add a second page to continue a certain stamp if I have you know such a large quantity which you know if you've been watching the you know the first video in this one you know there's you know some massive quantities of some of these stamps and you know these are some of the uh, you know, I don't want to say they're common, but they're not 100, you know, completely rare either, but they're rare when it comes to, you know, how many collections actually have some of these particular stamps. And, uh, you know, this, I, I have no idea what's in here, or if I should even get, you know, even try to open this up. Because, you know, it feels like there's more than... More than just what what we see on the front. I just want to try to do this without knocking anything over, or damaging anything, or you know, making a, a bigger mess of the stamps than they already are. So let's see. So yeah, there is something else. In See if I can try to sneak it out. And so yeah, it's just uh, just more old commemoratives. Um, there's a third one in here. Looks like some more of the just high denomination stamps. Two dollar, five dollar. Some Hamilton stamps in there. Just uh, actually, I think there's even more stuff in here, but I don't want to. Like I said, I don't want to make a a mess of uh, these stamps because they should all be in their own separate. Uh, so, like right now, I can't even get this back in the. There we go. This one might be just coming out. This one might have to just uh, might have to just do this for now. And just yeah, for now, until I figure out you know what I got going on. And let's see, are we at the bottom of the box? No, oh, we got a couple couple more things left. So we got some more. Airmail stamps and some more Hamiltons and let's see if that's finally it. Uh, that's it finally. Um, so yeah, so this was like you know obviously the first video, and then uh, you know, I just got just a just a massive pile from the second video and uh, you know so we'll call this the end of today's video for you know the second part and uh you know if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up um 
If you have any questions or comments, you can always leave them in the comments section. And I, you know, I always try to get back to everybody. Um, if you have any like, uh, you know, stamp sorting tips or anything, you know, you can always, uh, you know, leave some some tips if you have any. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, so you know, I've seen many different ways of doing different things, but I'm sure I haven't, you know, come across everything. I don't think anybody's, you know, uh, seen everything. So, you know, if you have any, uh, you know, advice or whatever, you know, definitely reach out. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subs uh, subscribed to the channel and, you know, you enjoy uh, watching these kinds of videos, you know, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, I, I've got so many more of these boxes to go through you know this is just uh you know one box that literally took uh you know two videos to go through and you know all i was doing was just kind of quickly you know going through then uh, you know, not really sorting through or you know looking at the each individual stamp in each envelope it, that would just take forever so you know there's going to definitely be a lot of uh, you know, sorting of all this stuff and, you know, a lot of things probably happening off camera because I wouldn't even know where to begin trying to do that on camera or live. Uh, you know, if I did it live, you'd probably, you know, see me go, you know, nuts probably a few times just because of the, just the massive quantities that, that I'm dealing with, um, you know, I just obviously just bought probably way too much at some point <laughs> and didn't know when to stop or, or like I said, you know, I bounced back and forth, you know, with all the different hobbies I have and, you know, you lose track of what you have and what you don't have and, you know, a lot of this stuff was probably accumulated, you know, before they had the fancy you know, programs on the computers where you could, like, you know, keep track of what you had. Uh, you know, if anybody asked me, you know, do you have this particular stamp? I had it happen, actually, uh, this, this past weekend I had a, a, a coin dealer asking me if I had a certain grouping of stamps, and I just said to him, I'm like, honestly, I, I don't know. Uh, I said, I, you know, if I had to guess, I would probably say more than likely but if I had to also guess where those stamps were uh, you know within the you know the accumulation that I have you know I, I probably wouldn't be able to find them you know it'd probably be easier for me to try to repurchase something whether instead of trying to find something almost um, so like I said, the the main goal here is, you know, to try to, uh, you know, get these uh, stamps uh, sorted and, you know, put into nice stamp pages, you know, stock pages that, you know, I, I can then put into, you know, some sort of a three ring binder and have the binders set up so, you know, I have everything in Scott Catalog, you know, order so I could have, you know, my first binder with maybe, you know, the first, uh, the first 25 or first 50 Scott Catalog number stamps. And then, you know, the second you know, binder maybe have, uh, you know, numbers 50 through 75 because, you know, as I get, uh, you know, into some of the newer issues, well, I shouldn't say newer because 1860 is not new, but... You know, as I get into some of those, I have much larger quantities. So, you know, I'll have to, you know, I won't be able to put as many different stamps in each binder. So, um, like I said, I got a big project ahead of me, obviously. Um, and, but that's that's part of the, the whole collecting process. You know, I... I you know, I do have some sort of enjoyment for it, and and when you finally get everything situated and cleaned up and in order and presented nicely, 
uh, you know, you can kind of, uh, you know, appreciate it more. It, you know, this box, you know, I had one box here that was, you know, taped shut, and it was just just sitting in a pile of other boxes. And, you know, it's hard to uh, appreciate anything that's in it. Uh, you know, at least if I have these, you know, in some pages, I can at least... Uh, you know, look at them occasionally, or I can, you know, decide if I need to sell some of them off if I have, you know, just some massive quantities of certain ones. Uh, you know, I know at one point I wanted to, you know, try to collect maybe a hundred of each stamp, and then at some point that, you know, hundred turned into a thousand, and, and then the thousand just kind of, it just kind of kept going on and on from there so uh yeah i i have a problem i guess <laughs> i guess you could it's a it's a hoarding problem but you know it's not a bad kind of hoarding problem uh this is you know better than hoarding say you know garbage i guess uh you know i hoard stamps you know and, and baseball cards and coins and comic books and all that fun stuff so and I'm, at, I'm just at a point where I'm just kind of overwhelmed by the the amount of stuff and I have to try to uh, make sense of everything I have and you know maybe downsize some of it and uh, you know try to maybe refocus in into like a more special area of the hobby you know, like the baseball cards, I like to just collect just a couple sets, and that's it. And the same thing with the stamps. If I can, you know, put together a nice collection of stamps in the, you know, in the pages, and I have, you know, one page for each stamp, you know, I'll be happy with that. But I don't, I probably don't need any more than one page per stamp. If I have a, if I have a page that's filled up front and back, you know, do I really need a, you know, a second and a third page just like it? You know, I might as well, you know, try to sell off some of those duplicates and and then maybe, uh, you know, use that income to, you know, fill some other, you know, holes that I may, uh, you know, find out I have, you know, in the, in the collection. Because like I said, I really don't know what I have, so I don't know what I need. I don't know if I, if I may, you know there's a chance I may not need anything because I, you know, I have, I already have some stamp uh, albums that are somewhat in order and I have some, you know, decent quantities in those books and, you know, between that and, you know, what you, you've seen in these last two videos and then, you know, you know, I got, like I said, a thousand more or so boxes similar to this and, uh, you know, a bunch of the big plastic totes that are just you know just packed solid uh you know with stamps that are sorted similar to this that are off paper and then i have uh you know the 40 gallon plastic garbage cans just you know they're just all over the place just lined up just packed solid so um, you know, see what happens, uh, you know, I gotta try to do something, you know, I'm trying to put together an online, uh, uh, store, you know, where collectors can go and make purchases and, you know, where I'll be able to list things at a, a more reasonable price than I, I could on, say, eBay or something because I have to, with eBay, I gotta take into consideration all the fees and everything, so, uh, if I can try to list stuff on my own site, you know, I can have, I'll be able to offer stuff at a at a more reasonable price to other collectors, and you'll be able to you know get more for your money, and uh, and then I'll I'll be happy also. So, so like I said, if you haven't subscribed uh, and you enjoy the video, definitely uh, hit that button. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, definitely reach out. And uh, other than that. Uh, Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching again. Bye.